Hello everyone, you are welcome to my YouTube channel. If today is your first day, please don't forget to subscribe and turn on your notification button whenever I upload a new video so you can be notified. In today's recipe, we are cooking curry prawn sauce, guys. I've washed up my prawns with a bay leaf. Here I got curry powder, salt and chicken season powder. This is the chicken season powder I'm using. Okay, guys. Here I got garlic and onions. I recommend you use grey apple and a coconut milk, white pepper, tomatoes puree, one tablespoon, peri pepper. I will leave the description down below, guys. Now I'm going to grate all my apple. You just peel there and take the skin out of it. I'm going to grate everything, guys, with the onions. Don't use blender. If you use blender, you might not end up having a good result because you want to grate it out. With the garlic, I just grating everything out. You can use food processor, guys, but don't use blender to blend it. Okay, guys. Now I'm putting two tablespoons of oil into the cookie pan. Extra virgin oil, guys. I recommend you use extra virgin oil for you to end up having a good result, guys. Now we're gonna be putting the apple. We grate out later on with the onions and garlic. We're gonna fry that. Then I put the bay leaf and the prompts, all the prompts, guys. I put everything in because I want my ingredients to go inside. I pour the curry and the salt and the chicken powder. I just put everything in, guys. Now I'm putting the white pepper, half a teaspoon of the white pepper. Now I'm going to open the milk, coconut milk, guys. Now I'm going to pour the milk inside. And the tomatoes puree, one tablespoon of that, as you can see. I'm just going to stir that in. Now I'm going to put the peri pepper, guys. One tablespoon of that, guys. As you can see, my curry is not bright enough. I'm going to be adding addition of one curry table tablespoon again. That make it two tablespoons. Okay, guys. So just eyeball it. Now I'm going to cook the basmati rice. What I do, I put my basmati rice and I put a pinch of salt with a seasoned mangi. Now I'm going to be adding a cup of boiled water. I added two. Then I just stir that for you to gum. As you can see, I just keep an eye on my curry sauce. Just stir that. You don't want it to get burned, guys, okay? Now, as you can see, depending on how you want your rice to go, I can see my rice is still a bit out. And then I'm going to be adding extra cup of water. As you can see, I'm just checking it. Just always keep your eyes on it. You don't want it to overcook. Now I'm just adding a pinch of water to eat and I'm stirring my curry sauce, guys. So in total cooking time of my rice, I use three cups of water to cook it. For one cup of basmati rice, I use three cup. Now we're going to be adding addition of mink to this curry sauce, guys. Before you add it, I will recommend you test it. Then you add the mink and see the difference why you are adding your own mink, guys. Just a tablespoon of that. You just add it into this sauce, guys. Then just stir it. Is in 45 minutes you are done preparing this delicious prom sauce with basmati rice guys oh my gosh you can imagine the aroma that is going on in my ass now so nice can you see the outcome my guys oh so lovely guys if you live here in the uk you don't know the right basmati rice to get just leave your comment down below i will recommend you to a good one that i'm using because i've really got a lot of basmati rice i end up finding the good one which is i'm staying to i'm using now can you see that? Okay, guys. Turn on your notification button. Share this video. Leave your comment down below. See you in my next